Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're going to talk about yet another Tarte palette. This is the Sex Kitten palette. I mentioned that I picked this one up in my last Tarte palette swatch and review. I was talking about the Don't Quit Your Daydream palette in that one. I'll link that below, you can go and check that out after you're done watching this video if you're interested. A lot of people mentioned that they wanted to see a video about this palette. And I know a lot of people are having trouble figuring out how to use the shades in here because it is a lot deeper, it's really cool toned, there's this navy blue, there's a really glittery shade. To be completely honest with you, that kind of thing really intimidates me too, but I am wearing this palette on my eyes today and I actually really love the way my look turned out. So if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how I use this palette to get the eye look I have today. I am gonna do swatches of this palette, but first let me give you just a little bit of product info. This palette is available at Ulta as well as from Tarte's website. At the time I'm filming this, it is on sale on Tarte's website only. The retail price is $29, but it's on sale for $20 on Tarte's website right now. I will try to get this video up before that sale is over, but I don't know when it ends, so I'm sorry if I miss it. This is the outer carton that the palette comes in. It has the same artwork on the cardboard carton as it does on the front of the palette. And it does come with this little info card that gives you two suggested looks and kind of shows you how to get those looks. I did not follow this card, but I do think it's nice when they include something like this. The palette is a heavy duty cardboard and it does have a magnetic closure as well as a nice large mirror inside. The palette is a really kind of shiny finish, so it does show a lot of fingerprints, which isn't really that big of a deal, especially because this kind of like shiny finish cardboard is really easy to wipe clean. So even though it gets really fingerprinted up, it does not get really dirty, which I love. Just like all the other Double Duty Beauty palettes, this has seven eyeshadow shades and one face highlighter. And of course, you could use the face highlighter as an eyeshadow as well. Five of the eyeshadows are mattes, and there's one shimmer and one with micro glitter. And the face highlighter is very glittery. I also want to mention that according to Tarte's website, this palette is limited edition and it seems to me that these palettes do not stick around for very long. So if you're interested in it, definitely go and check it out. You can go and swatch it at Ulta, but don't wait too long because in my experience, these palettes disappear pretty quickly. I'm going to jump into the swatches now. As always, I'm going to do both finger and brush swatches. I'll do the face highlighter and the top row of eyeshadows first and then the remaining four eyeshadows second. For my brush swatches, I always use just an e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush, and I clean off the brush in between each swatch with my Viramona color switch. I'll be swatching on the back of my hand with no primer, no foundation, and I'll do finger swatches on top and brush swatches below. Here is the first round of swatches. I know that these two light matte shades are super hard to see on my skin. I do think they look very similar. They basically don't show up at all in brush swatch, and part of that is because they're just not really as creamy and pigmented as this one and part of it is just because they're super close to my skin tone so first let's talk about this white shade it's called raw and this one seems to be much drier and less pigmented than the other shades in the palette so i don't really know what's up with that but that's raw next we have sly which is more of a like warm creamy color this cool toned brown is called Paw. And lastly, we have the face highlighter. It's called Secret, and it is a super glittery gold. I don't know if you can tell as much on camera, but this does have very big chunks of glitter in it. Here we have the last four shades in the palette. First up is this kind of taupey, rose gold almost shade. This one's called Feline, and it's really the only true shimmer in the palette. And of course, it's my favorite shade. Next, we have the shade Cunning. And this one is really strange because it seems like a shimmery, kind of dusty rose color, but it's packed with silver micro glitters. So as you can see from the brush swatch, it just doesn't really hold up well when applied with a brush, but it does look very beautiful when applied with a finger. So if you have this palette and you're feeling frustrated with this shade, 
Try applying it just with your finger or with maybe a wet flat brush because the brush swatch really doesn't do justice to how pretty this shape cunning is. The last two are mattes. This navy blue matte is called Prowl and this really is a true navy. It sometimes seems that navy shades look more like a grayish black when they're swatched and this is really keeping its blue tone. I think it's really pretty. Lastly is this deep brown. It's called Wildcat and I do think this just rounds out the palette nicely. Now that you've seen the swatches, I'm going to jump to the eye look and do a quick tutorial with this palette and then I'll tell you kind of my thoughts at the end of the video. I'm starting off with my favorite eye base of all time. This is the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly to prime my lids. Then I'm going to go ahead and set that primer with the shade Sly. This is just a cream colored matte shade to give us a nice smooth surface to work on. Then it's time for a transition shade. I'm using Paw on a really fluffy brush and I'm putting that more on the outer part of my eyelid and blending into the crease. Next I'm going to use my all over lid color. I'm going to take the shade Cunning just on my finger and I'm going to press that all over my lid. I am going to go back over this a second time to build up that shade a little bit more and make it a little more shimmery. Next, I'm going to take Feline on a small flat brush and I'm packing that all over the outer half of my lid to add a little bit more depth to the look. Now I'm using Prowl. This is a matte navy blue. I took that on a little angled brush and I'm just smudging that along my upper lash line as a sort of faux liner look. Next, I'm going to put that onto the lower lash line and I'm showing this in real time so that you can see really what I'm doing here. I'm stamping that on the outer part of the lower lash and really making sure that that's connected to the upper lash liner so that I don't have any breaks there and then blending once I have less product, blending that out onto the lower lash line about halfway across. Now I'm adding some black eyeliner and I'm tight lining my upper lash line, which I really hate to do. And then I'm using a sponge to pull down on my lower lid so that I can add that to my waterline. Now I'm going to use the shade Prowl again on that little angled brush and I'm going to set the liner with that navy blue shade. This is really important to keep the liner in place. Now I'm going to use the shade Paw that I used as my transition shade and I'm just going to really smoke out the lower lash line and blend out that navy blue matte shadow down there. Now I'm using the shade Secret. This is the face highlighter and I'm using that to highlight the inner corner of my eye just to finish off my look. And I am going to highlight my brow bone with the matte white called Raw to make sure that I don't have any of that transition shade too high up there. Of course I'm going to use Secret to highlight my cheekbones as well. So I'm just sweeping that across my whole cheekbone here with a fluffy brush. And I think this shade looks a lot better on camera than it does in person. In person it was just really glittery looking. Lastly I'll curl my lashes, add a little bit of Lash Paradise mascara, and that's my finished look. A cool tone with eyeliner look. So different for me but I actually really love it. Overall, I'm really surprised by how much I do like this palette. There are a couple things that I don't really love that I would tweak. The main thing that I dislike is the face highlighter is just so glittery. I'm wearing it on my face right now and I think it looks fine on camera, but in person you can really see like specks of glitter on my face and I just don't really think that's flattering for me. I don't think it's probably flattering for most people. I know there are people out there who love really glittery highlights and if that's you, you'll like this one. I like more of a like shimmery sheen kind of highlight and that's just not what this one's giving to me. I know that really boils down to personal preference and this just isn't really my favorite formula. I'm not really a cool tone eyeshadow kind of person. I definitely gravitate more towards like neutrals and warm tones. However, I am surprised by how much I like 
almost every shade in here. I don't even mind this like really glittery shade. I do think that it needs to be applied with a finger versus a brush, but I'm wearing it on my lids. I do think it's really pretty. I'm surprised by how much I like that one. And I'm also surprised by how much I like this navy shade. I think this pairing of prowl and feline could be super gorgeous for just a like navy smoky eye look. And that's not something I typically go for, but I am surprised by how much I've enjoyed using this. And I definitely think I'm gonna be grabbing for some more cool tones. My only other criticism is this white matte shade called Roar. It just doesn't show up very well. It's not nearly as pigmented as the other mattes in this palette, which are so creamy and smooth and really easy to work with. This one just seemed to be a lot drier and stiffer. And I don't think it's necessary to have this white shadow when there's already a really light cream colored matte shadow. I just think this one's kind of redundant. I do wish that this was replaced with like an icy white shimmery shade. So really these are the only two shades that I'm not crazy about. I don't hate them. I'm just not really going to gravitate towards these two. But this part of the palette, I'm so shocked by how much I've enjoyed it. If you're a cool tone lover, there's finally a palette for you. I know we've been kind of bombarded by a lot of warm palettes lately, and I do find this really refreshing. I think it's fun to try something new, and I think that you can get either a really easy, like wearable daytime look, and you can definitely get a super sexy, smoky, like nighttime look with this as well. So I think this is a really versatile palette. They packed a lot into this little small package here. I also think this packaging is really cute. I've been a fan of these Double Duty Beauty palettes for a while now. I think I have all the ones that they've come out with and I've done quite a few reviews with them. So if you're interested in seeing any of the other Tarte palettes, I'll link all those videos below and you can go and check those out as well. Of course, I would love to hear your thoughts on this palette. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> we'll get to that. You know you're an army wife when <laughs> I have a striker coffee mug. My lips are so dry. Why I put on a matte liquid lipstick, I will never understand. I mean, my stuff's just going every which way. <laughs> okay, enough of that awkwardness. Let's get back to the regular awkwardness now. Mm. <laughs> uh, Frank, Frank, but I should, but this lip color is really hanging in through a lot of cups of coffee, though. It's the NARS Power Matte. Man, these things are amazing. I don't know if I could get through filming one video where I can just act like a normal person. I don't think it's possible. Do I look weird with eyeliner on since I never wear it? I feel weird with it on. It's kind of pretty though. <laughs> Whatever, it's a smudgy look. Meant for it to be that way. <laughs>